My name is Vangile Makwakwa and I will be answering a question that I received recently from a journalist that was interviewing me for an article. She asked me if there was such a thing as good debt or uh, if, such a th if there was such a thing as good debt or bad debt. And I thought, hmm, I've actually never thought of that before. I asked my financial advisor and I started talking to a lot of different experts and I'm going to be sharing some of my insights from this video and some of the things that I disagree with. So what I've been told so far is that a car is good debt, student loans are good debt and a house is good debt as well and even a cell phone is good debt if it's um, a cell phone that you're paying for monthly and you've got a contract because all these things help build your credit but they also help you in terms of acquiring assets. I have just a small problem with that like for example I'm not sure if a cell phone is good debt and I'm also not too sure if a car is good debt as well. I mean why can't you get a decent car but not have to pay monthly installments for it. If you get a decent second-hand car, you get a car in auction, you probably don't have to pay installments for it. And if you save correctly for the car, at least that's what I did. I don't have a car installment because I just didn't see it as good debt. And I also argue with the idea of a cell phone as good debt. I mean, yes, you've got it on credit. And yes, I get what some of the experts I talked to said about that is that it helps you build credit in terms of building a cre uh, your credit rating and your credit score because they can see that you actually have some kind of fiscal discipline. Like some cell phones are extremely overvalued and if you're spending lots more money than you can afford on a cell phone just to show off then clearly that's not good debt and that's not fiscal discipline in my books it all has to do with your income I think if you can afford to have a certain cell phone contract then by all means but if you can't then it makes no sense to have that cell phone contract I do agree that even though I complain every single day about my student loans probably and I really want to pay them off. I do consider them a good debt and the reason for that is that I don't think getting educated is ever something that's a bad thing. I think education is knowledge and the research till this day still proves that a graduate still earns more than someone without a degree so clearly that's good debt because it helps you increase your income. Uh, in terms of a house, I do think a house is good debt. I mean, sometimes you'll probably be paying the same amount in terms of rent. If you can afford to get a house and not pay rent and the mortgage is going to be similar to your rent, then by all means. At least that's why I got my house because I felt that you know what, when I looked at everything, there wasn't much difference in terms of my mortgage and including rates and taxes when I actually took everything into account. There wasn't much difference between what I, what I would be paying for my mortgage and what I would then be paying for my rent. So it actually makes sense that I should take all that money to pay towards an asset, something that I can at one, oh, at one time turn around and sell rather than paying off someone else's mortgage. That for me was why I decided to go into home ownership. But for other people maybe it doesn't make sense. But I've never ever seen, uh, but I still maintain that investing in property or just having your own home is always a great investment. Bad debt, in my view, is debt that get like clothing accounts. Seriously, I have no idea why people have clothing accounts. Call me crazy, but I've never in my entire existence had clothing accounts. Yes, I had credit card debts, but I've never had uh, I've never bought anything a clothes on credit. And part of that, I believe, is because clothes don't really appreciate in value after wearing them a few times in a year. In fact, I think they kind of depreciate in value. <laughs> and I would also say other bad debts are furniture accounts. I know most people say you definitely need furniture, but you can also budget to buy your furniture a step at a time. 
and also depending on the kind of credit card that you've got. I know credit cards are not always bad debts because they help you build credit. That's something that's taken me years to acknowledge. But again, I say look at the interest rate, look at how much you're paying in terms of the credit card. At the end of the day, for me, I think good debt is debt that I use to get assets that will appreciate in value with time. And bad debt are the exact opposite. I hope that helped. I look forward to hearing what your insights are on the topic of good debt and bad debt. Have a fantastic and phenomenal day.